As men, when it comes to sex and satisfaction, we are eager beavers. As a result, we totally miss a very important and critical part of the desire and attraction equation. Seduction. Seduction, that amazing process of tempting, enticing, and attracting that special someone. And so today, we're going over six simple seduction tips to help you be a seduction super stud. Super stud might be a bit of an overreach, but there are some things that we as men can do to be more attractive, more alluring, and altogether sexier. Gentlemen, let's rock. When it comes to seduction, most men think of sexual attraction. And honestly, this is probably the absolute hands down worst thing you can do if you're trying to be more desirable. As men, we just want to get down to the freaky freaky. It's like, why do we have to go to dinner? Let's have dessert right now. What, you want to be seduced? Okay, baby, you look hot. Ready? Not so much. Gentlemen, you gotta think of sex as a fortunate, like, bonus at the end of doing something super right. So now, let's go over some simple seduction tips. Tip number one, go slow, like a panther stalking a gazelle. You, my friend, need to just chill. I know that we want to rush in like a bull in a china shop and be like, yo, and just like take it and smack it and flip it and do crazy weird things. But you can't. It is not hot. It is not exciting. It is not seductive. Gentlemen, we gotta slow it down. Go slow. Seduction is a process. You can't be there sitting on your phone playing Dirty Birds. Is that a game? <laughs> Was it Dirty Birds? Angry Birds. Look up, look over, be like, yo, girl, you pretty. You wanna do it? It doesn't work that way. And if it does, <laughs> good for you. Tip number two is act confident. Now, confident you may not be. But this doesn't mean that the body language, the presentation that you're putting forward can't look or lead people to believe that you, my friend, are confident. I did a video where I wear a really ugly shirt <laughs> where I talk about 10 body language tips that can help you look or appear more confident. Even if you're shaking like a little girl inside, that video is listed and linked in the description. Seduction tip number three is always look your best. Think of the clothing you wear as your personal packaging. Right? What package do you want everybody to see? Is it something where you throw on a pair of ratty jeans, wrinkled t-shirt? Is this like your low budget package? Is it seductive? No. Could you do better? Absolutely. Another critical key to looking good is your grooming. Are you groomed appropriately? How's your manscaping game? Is it solid? Does it need work? A unibrow makes it tough to be seductive. Do you smell? Is that? And you're definitely not seducing anyone if you smell like sh Seduction tip number four is smell amazing. Wear deodorant, powder your balls, and wear the appropriate amount of an amazing fragrance. A few months ago, I did a video talking about how to find your signature scent. Um, you know, one of the issues with colognes is that, you know, when you wear it too long, it sort of dates you, and we need to keep it fresh. In the video, I actually talk about an amazing company and concept called Scentbird. The reason why I think Scentbird has absolutely knocked it out of the park in terms of a business concept is because I spent a lot of money on a bottle of Creed Adventus that I got it, I squirted it, and I didn't like it, and I don't wear it, and I wasted a lot of money on that. This takes the guesswork and the risk out of it. Scentbird's a great option. If you're somebody who, A, doesn't like to wear the same cologne every day, great option. B, somebody who isn't sure what cologne to actually wear, what their girlfriend, boyfriend, whomever is actually going to like, it's a great option. It allows you to go on every month. You get to pick a different cologne that they send you. You try it. You don't like it. You're only out 15 bucks. You try something else. You love it. You go and buy the big bottle. Game over. You found a signature scent. Gentlemen, everything is listed and linked down in the description along with a discount code for 25% off. But it's only 15 bucks a month. So you're going to save 25% on that first order though. You'll have more money for roses, which dovetails perfectly into number five, set in the mood. Tip number five is all about showing that special somebody that they are appreciated and that they are worth your effort. Open a car door. Pull the chair out. Open the door, you savage. It blows my mind how much I see guys and girls when they're together where a guy will open the door and walk in first and his girlfriend's like getting smacked in the face with the door. Who raised you animals? And tip number six, tactical touching. Touch like scent is incredibly powerful. Not too much or you could creep them out. 
right? Guys that are palsy, too soon, light, subtle, like a fragrance. It just makes sense. And as the evening progresses, your touching can increase. Slow, steady. Cool, calm, collected, gentlemen. I know inside you're ready to throw down with crazy intensity and love and passion and love. <laughs> passion and lust. But in reality, you gotta keep it all bottled up in a nice, well-tailored, fitted, whatever you're wearing so that they don't see the intensity and the passion because nothing kills a seductive moment more than somebody who you can tell is just like ready to hump your leg. <laughs> so I've been told. And that's it, gentlemen. Six simple seduction tips to help you hopefully be the seductive stallion that you were meant to be. What's it? Did you just wink at me? <laughs> Perfect.